Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Audrey and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome to another morning inspo. Okay, um, let's get some sage burning. <laughs> let's get some sage burning today. I hope you guys are doing well today. Might be putting up a shadow work prompt today, so make sure you um, follow on Instagram. The um, the information is down below in the, in the description bar. Okay, um, let's get into this affirmation. All right, Libra, let's get into this affirmation. I'm feeling real energized. Real energized. Ready to go outside in the sun, actually. <laughs> All right, what affirmation do we have for Libra? What affirmation do we have for Libra? I have power over my mind. Mind over matter. Um... What steps do I take to redirect my thoughts when they descend into negative territory? So it's like you showing your mind who's bad, who's boss, who's bad, what the hell? And then right behind that, it says, I feel great about myself and my future. I feel like for some of you guys, when you start thinking negatively about your future and about you, about yourself and your future, um, I feel like you have the power you're realizing that you have the power to redirect your mind. You have the power to change your mind. You have your power to think a different thing. For some of you guys, you've just been letting your thoughts and your emotions control you. And it's okay to feel and acknowledge your emotions. But when they get to the point of that controlling your everyday life, that trapping you and um, bringing you in bad situations or not so good situations. For some of you guys, this has a lot to do with self-love and self-confidence we're talking about confidence and i feel like the fact that aries aries we are we are in aries season and the fact that that um confidence is coming up and it's been coming up since we got into aries season it's just like something is reminding you to be confident reminding you that you can you have the power to be confident it lives in your mind. I was watching Euphoria the other day, and Maddie, that's like my favorite one, but Maddie was saying to, what the hell is that girl name? Cassie, I think. No, was it Cassie? Not Cassie, it was Lit. I don't know. Lizzie. The girl who made the play. But anyways, she was saying to her, like, confidence, the thing about confidence is nobody can tell if it's fake or real. Nobody can tell if it's fake or real. I know if you heard the fake it till you make it type of things with confidence. Like it's going to take one step at a time. Sometimes you won't, you're not going to be 100% confident when something is telling you to be confident in that moment. But it takes those times. It takes those little bruises, those slips and falls, those moments of butterflies to really shape us. It takes that. Okay. That's what really shapes us. Um, but I do feel like some of you guys are realizing that you can think a different thing. You can say something else when it comes to your future and how how you feel about you, how, how you feel about your life. Okay. All right. What messages do we have for Libra? We're going into the heart, mind, body. Message from spirit and then the overall energy. I really love this way to do morning inspo for some reason because it's just like, it's a nice read. I'm telling you. <laughs> It's a nice read here, okay? Put these cards on. Nice and shuffled. Okay. Messages do we have for Libra, heart, mind, body. Message from spirit and overall energy. Home. Home is where the heart is. Home is where the heart is. Somebody could be focusing on home. Okay. Somebody could definitely be focusing on home. 
okay? Also, truth, the truth is where your mind is. Somebody is also seeing the truth. You got manifestation from the overall feeling, the overall, the overall um, read. You have manifestation at the bottom of the deck. You have freedom. Some of you guys, you don't see how free you are. Some of you guys, you don't, you're looking at this clarity, this new beginning that you're starting, but you don't see how that is going to bring you into this freedom. You don't see how that is going to bring you freedom. Also, there's some type of animals. What did I see? There could be animals around you that, oh, I seen two morning doves kissing. I don't know if they was cleaning off each other, but they was kissing. It looked like the two, like lovebirds. I seen that right on my shed in my backyard. I've been seeing that. But you're going to see a lot of animals that represent family, things like that, represent togetherness. But there's some type of freedom that's coming in this new beginning that you don't see. But definitely home is where the heart is. Home is where the heart is right now. Okay, yeah, it's it. The first sentence is home is definitely where the heart is. It's a place of security, pr protection, comfort, and sanctuary. And for you, there's nothing better than the feeling of being at home. Okay, so for some of you guys, in your heart, you're just going to want to be at home. Some of you guys, you just may want, you may go to a place where you like, I just, you may even be at work right now. You're like, I just can't wait to get, I just want to go home. Okay. Um, there's nothing better, there's nothing better than the feeling of being at home. As idyllic as that sound, the reality of the home is sometimes far harsher with disagreements, interruptions, or no time to call your own. But feeling like an outsider is hard for anyone looking in. So it's time to breathe new energy into your dwelling place by enhancing the ambience with peace, warmth, happiness. Retreat within your newly energized home for a while. Retreating within your new, newly energized home for a while will restore you to the full strength required to face the outside world. Okay. This could be a time for you to clear out some type of clutter in your house. Also, I do feel like it says that sometimes the reality of, of home, what you think home is, is harsh. Okay. With disagreements, interruptions, no time for yourself. So it's time for you to put that energy back into your home. If you can, create a space, create a time for yourself, create something for you. That thing is going to energize you for the outside world. So this is letting you know that the, the, the idea that you have around home, it could be opposite of comfort. And it's time for you to get that comfort and ease back into your home, okay? Back to where you lay your head. Where, where do you where you go to, you know, take off the day? Like that is how, how you view that is about to change, okay? Or you're about to make some type of change. You're about to clean up that space, okay? Um, for the mind, you have truth. And I think some of you guys, like these solar flares have been sending in a lot of truth, Okay. So I do think that some of you guys are seeing the truth in the matter. The truth in certain matters, okay? It says, be honest with yourself, not only with others. It's time to face facts. Otherwise, the truth may be revealed in a way you may not wish it to be. For the truth will come out. It always does. Better that you confess sooner rather than later in order to avoid a bigger confrontation than you, than you can handle. Remember that when you keep the truth from others or speak untruthfully, your energy lowers and your light fades. It's time to release the heavy burden of secrecy. However, if you've been deliber deliberately misled, remember that no one deserves to be in your life if they think that you aren't worthy enough to be told the truth. Let the truth set you free. This is time for you to trust your intuition. Also, somebody's hiding something from you and that's on your mind. Like, you can't stop thinking about it for some of you guys. Um, and also, if you know that someone else knows the truth, it could be time for you to kind of admit the truth before someone else 
comes out and say it. And then this is also time for you to like live your truth. But somebody could definitely be hiding something about it, about you. Or there could be time for you to trust your intuition. Or I feel like, or admit something. Okay. Um, with the body, there is forgiveness. Forgiveness here. Um, for some of you guys, it's time to set yourself free from hurt. This is like you physically moving. Anger and betrayal and let go. Be kind, forgive yourself, and give yourself permission to be forgiven. Others may be reeling from your actions, or you could be a target of judgment, shaming, or disapproval. Soothe your wounded heart by radiating love out to those who have injured you. This is not giving them permission for bad behavior, but rather heals your hurts instead. Resentment is a prison door that harbors emotional distress while forgiveness holds the key to freedom so make peace with your pain as you release attachment to the situation and move on stop being a victim that's what it is stop being a victim tell somebody if you're being bullied as well if you feel like you're being picked on Seek a peace of mind. Look to the future and remain positive. Forgive and forget. You've been let off the hook. Some of you guys, you could be blaming yourself. You've been let off the hook. You don't deserve some type of punishment. Some of you guys can be thinking you deserve some type of punishment. Is this, this is why? Sorry, y'all, we've been out of focus. You don't deserve some type of punishment. Um, I do feel like that it's time for you to, I, I can give it to you in the way that I, I, I got it. Change the button. I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know why I get this like triggery thing. Like it's time for you to do something different. Okay. It's time from you for you to set yourself free from the hurt, from the pain. For some of you guys, this is coming from strictly your mind, heart, mind, body. For some of you guys, this is something at home. This is something that home is where the heart is. Your idea of home is disagreements, whatever. There's some truth you've been trying to seek. You've been trying to seek out some type of truth for a long time. For some of you guys, you finally got these truths. These solar flares were bringing truths, explosions of truth. Now, some of them were truths that was going to open doors, and some of them were truths that was going to make you close doors, okay? Um, but I do feel like it's time for you to set yourself free from a situation. From anger, from hurt. And from betrayal. Some of you guys have been a target of judgment. Like judging everything about you. And I, I've just gotten to the space where I'm... I'm tapped out. Like I don't even have the emotional energy... To do... What I've once done... Like to 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 complete to continue on on certain cycles with certain people or just certain situations in my life, I just let I'm just letting shit go. You know, I, I if we can't if we can't talk things peacefully, or we can't get a, a solution, then I'm not going to keep on running on a hamster wheel trying to figure out a way because that's what I usually do. I would keep running on a hamster wheel. And I will just finally let it go to be like, okay, you know, I let go. Like, letting go is going to be big for you guys. So I do feel like for some of you guys, not only are you forgiving the situation, but you're walking away from it. Dude, you're done fighting. Some of you guys, you, you you could be, and you could be somebody's target for the judgment, for the shaming, for the disapproval. You could be some, somebody's realizing that like, like, no matter what I do, this is just how this person views me. 
And I have no control over that. What I have control over is just how I love and how I view myself. That's what I have control over. Some of you guys, you're taking your power back, okay? Um, and a message from Spirit, it says finding. It says it's often heartbreaking to lose something, whether it's, it is an item that means a great deal to you or a necessity. A necessity. Of course, nothing is truly lost, but being unable to find that which you need can be deemed as rather frustrating. If this card has presented itself to you, then it's because you are on the cusp of giving up. Please stick with it. All you need is some magical assistance to help you find that which you seek. The earth nurtures and restores all that reside in and on her. So by working a little earth magic, you can be assured that whatever it is that's been misplaced shall soon be uncovered. Follow your soul's calling. For some of you guys, you, you faced a huge soul loss. And there's something that is going to be found in that. For a lot of you guys, the message from spirit is, this is some of you guys are walking away from this. Some of you guys are walking away from major relationships. I feel like family, home thing, that could be very, very big because this is where your, your heart is setting on that. And then your mind is setting on the truth of matters, your truth, your own truth, which is leading your body to walk away from something, to forgive something, to finally let something go. Which the overall spirit is telling you, yeah, I know you've let something go. It's hard to lose something. This is like a full, full conversation. Hard to lose something. But what's found in what is lost is, is going to be magical. Or what you think you've lost. So for some of you guys, don't make the mistake from leaving situations but giving up on unconditional love. Don't make the mistake of finally forgiving or going through some type of soul loss or grieving and you feel like you, you, you've you lost that bond forever or you'll never have a bond like that forever because it'll always be misplaced. Not misplaced, like taking the place of, but you're always fine, Okay. Um, but I do feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be separating yourselves. And these are from truths that you found out. Whether it's some truths that you've been hiding, how you've been feeling. Or it's a truth that someone's been hiding something to you. Or they've been hiding what they've been feeling about you. Or you trust in your intuition. You know that it's time to, to, to leave or to move beyond the situation. Okay, then for the overall message, you have manifestation. It's time for you to focus on your desires. Reawaken your powerful manifestation, the alchemist within. The alchemist within urges you to reawaken your powerful manifestation abilities. Demonstrating a strong will and focus will drive your desires into fruition with a little magical help, of course. As you step back into alignment through spell work, invocation, and acknowledging both aspects of your light and shadow self, you become testimony to the wise ones who walk before you. The universe is poised to support you as it reflects your positive intentions. So go and grab your dreams. Reach for your goals as a magical energy surges through you. Everything is yours for the taking and will continue to be so as you add your own magical touch. Okay? Um, focus only on a positive outcome. Your goals are coming into being. There's a wonderful surprise that awaits you. And have patience. Your needs are always met and your needs have always been met. Also, be careful what you're wishing for, too. Make sure you're wishing for things that are going to bring you life. So to be mindful of your thoughts, okay? Like I said, I have power over my mind when it comes to what? How you feel about yourself and your future. You have the power over your mind, right? 
okay? Um, so, I feel like the, the ground could be very, very fertile for you. The ground could be very, very fertile. All right, let's go ahead and clarify, guys. Tell me more about home for Libra. Wow. You see how that came out? Spiritual growth. Wow. Spiritual growth. Some of you guys, whatever you're going through at home is, is growing you spiritually. And it's time for you to, 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 to make a sanctuary in there that not only brings you peace, but it resembles your, your spiritual growth. It, re, it resembles your spiritual journey. It's, it's making you aware of this is bringing you closer or this is bringing you in more of alignment. It's bigger than just having a place to just unwind. And for some of you guys, this place may even be your car. Be careful because the gas then went up, okay? <laughs> I had to turn that car off a couple times. I know me. I don't know if y'all in the culture of, of staying in your car, but I'm definitely in the culture of unwinding a bit, okay? Unwinding a bit before I get into my house. Um, but then I do also have a nice space, which I think I'm going to kind of, I didn't want to make me a nice nook. Um, but we're going to get into that, whatever. But I do have a nice space, like a nice space to just relax and sit down and everything. But I feel like this is this is whatever is going through, whatever you're going through at home is aiding you in your spiritual growth. And look at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, you don't know this, but the situation will improve. Will improve. Ask and you shall receive. Ask for some for support. Trust the universe. This is what you're looking at. You're trusting the universe. So whatever it is going on at home, you're trusting the universe. In the middle of this, you have manifestation. So literally, you can create whatever it is you want this moment to become. You can create it. You have the power to create it. You have the power to, to manifest it. Okay? And it starts by the simple doing. The doing, the action, will be you creating a nice space in your environment. Or if you already have that space, buy a plant, buy a candle, okay? Change the sheets, change the pillow covers, put some art up on the wall, something that signifies your spiritual growth. Okay, tell me more about truth. You got to trust the universe here. You got to trust the universe. It says your faith may be challenged now. Um, trust the universe. There's a reason for some of the experiences you've been going through recently. There are no coincidences in life and everything is unfolding perfectly according to the divine plan. Positive opportunities are coming your way. Trust in the process and the path that you are being led down. You will know it's the right path where you experience synchronicities and other signs and wonders. And wonders. These are messages reminding you to trust the universe extended message there is no such thing as chance all is well all is guided if you lose an opportunity or feel you've been shut down know that this is the work of god and angels and it is right for you if you are wondering where you go from here know that when you ask the universe for a sign it will show up the moment you are on the right path you are being guided by your angels to stop questioning everything that is occurring at this time and let in the, the miraculous support you deserve Trust that you are deserving of good experiences because you are, and the universe will deliver them to you. Yeah, some some truth of the matter is going to cause you to let something go. Yeah, and moving into forgiveness is at the bottom of the deck. Let go. Holy love. Be swallowed up in the holy love. So some of you guys, you have to realize that the universe, or you're, some of you guys, are you're looking into the mirror. You're trusting into the universe. 
trusting the universe. Your mind is also healing. There's signs you could be seeing lots of, I've seen so many synchronicities. I think I've seen, I've seen like 10, 10, 12, 12, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, um, 4, 4, 4. I seen that. I think I seen them all and it was just like ringing on me and I was going through something at that time. And that was just my, 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 my reminders, my reminders, listen, y'all. My reminder is to trust the universe. Everything's going to work out. Whatever I'm going through is bringing me to, to healing, was bringing me to alignment. Trusting that these things are going to be good for me. Don't I, don't I grow from these things? Don't I become better? You know, tell me more about forgiveness. Choose a new direction. Not only are you going to forgive a situation, you're going to you're going to walk away from a situation. Going, you're going to totally let a situation go. And this all this has everything to do. Look, you have earth and ground, power and intention, and there's something better. Hmm. So for some of you guys, the thing that you've lost now, I'm not talking about nobody's soul off or, gr or grieving, because I would just wouldn't say that, but there's something that you lost. Like it could be a friendship or a relationship or something like that. Some type of relationship that you lost. And I feel like, why I'm feeling like tower moments. I don't know why I'm feeling like a tower moment, but I'm feeling like the destruction because this, all this is coming from the truth and spirit is basically like, hold on, calm down, trust in me, stay peaceful. Let go, you know, when spirits start talking to you like that, it's like, okay. But I feel like something is a tower moment. And you realize there was a lot of false, there was a false foundation. You could have realized that you were being lied to. Everything was wrong. And I feel like this is the breaking of that and I feel like for some reason it's something had it's some, it has something to do with these solar flares, the truth that's came out. I feel like for some of you guys, you're choosing new directions, and it may just look like a whole puddle of shit right now. It may just look like just destruction, soot, and bricks all over the place. It may look like a mess right now, but for some of you guys, you realize that. I need to choose a new direction. And this may be simple. For some of you guys with that, that home right there, you may not even be able to leave a situation physically, okay? But you may be able to fully let go of a situation energetically. Stop holding on to this situation energetically and let go of a situation energetically. Because there's something better for you to hold on to energetically for your energy. This whole reading was about getting your energy in order. And for some, like, for some of you guys, there's something better that you can hold on to energetically. And for some of you guys, no matter what you do, you're going to always be the target of judgment, the target of shame, the target of disapproval. For some of you guys, you're not going to be able to work together with a person or people. This could be people. Not going to be able to. And you're realizing it. It's time to forgive and let go. And part of forgiving and letting go is forgiving yourself for it. I know how bad you wanted to fix this. And some of you guys are holding on to it because you wanted to fix it so bad. I know how bad you wanted to fix it. Trust me, I'm a fixer too. I'm a four, okay? Project builder. St stability means a lot to me, okay? <laughs> so I know exactly how you wanted to fix something. You wanted to just make the solution. But life is showing you that sometimes there will be no solution. 
because the solution is dropping this is forgiving it letting it go and moving in a whole new direction because there's something better for you energetically for your it's something better for your energy tell me more about hold up there tell me more about finding tell me more about finding let go But this choose a new direction and let go. Like, there's something so much better. Spirit is telling you, let, let it go. Let it go. There's something so much better for you. Behind it, you don't see how many helpful and supportive people that are ready to support you. You are looking at the signs. and So some of you guys are looking at the signs of reminders. Um, this is a situation that's definitely going to be helpful in a year from now. So, that, so that's mean, that means now until a year from now. Make sure you're communicating clearly. Make sure you're thinking through. You're not just speaking. You thinking before you speak. Also, there's going to be so many helpful people. Okay, um, there's also going to be a lot of abundance coming towards you, signs and reminders that you are manifesting your dreams. There's a lot of happiness that's going to come from this, letting something go as well. And also, some sometimes you may feel like you lost something or you're, you know, you're missing something. That's when it may feel like you're missing something. Like, you know, when you leave out the house and you're like, did I grab my, I just feel like I'm missing something. I feel like, I'm, you know, when you feel like that and then you, you probably look in your bag and you don't forget your perfume or you don't forget something. And it's like, I felt it. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Okay. It's going to feel like you're missing something, but there's something that's, there is just so much beauty that's coming towards you. Okay. There's so much that you're manifesting. For some of you guys, this is a part. This is the next step in your manifestation is letting something go. And I feel like a lot of this has something to do with energetically. The energetic bonds. Tell me more about manifestation. You're manifesting helpful people around you. Support. So this has a lot to do with the people around you. You're manifesting helpful people around you support support people who support you so for some of you guys you might not have that around you but people who support you are coming in that's what you're manifesting in listen to your intuition trust your intuition you have blessings and abundance. So much good things happening to you. You also have an opportunity coming towards you. You're manifesting that. Listen to your intuition. You're manifesting blessings and abundance. Nice, big, happy changes. Holy love. This is like, let it go. Spirit is, that's why spirit is guiding you. Like, listen, listen, baby. Come here, baby Libra. Let it go. I got so much in store for you. That you won't be able to carry it if you're holding on to all of these things. You won't have any room for it. And this is something you've been asking for for a long time. So I need your hands to be empty. So you can pick up all of this goodness that I have for you. Okay? In the middle of that, your intuition and your downloads. For some of you guys, follow that. Follow your intuition and your downloads. Follow what it's telling you. Also, there's, there's a need for you to do some type of shadow work. And like I said, energetically, right behind that is raise your vibration. For some of you guys, you got to energetically, these bonds, they're lowering your vibration, okay? Keeping you further from your manifestation. And you, so some of you guys, you feel like you need this bond or I need to do this in order to, no. Like you want to fix it so much. I, I, we get you. We get you, okay? But... 
the best thing for you to do is to choose a new direction. There's something better for you out there energetically, okay? So that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.